Your Excellencies, honored guests. I am Mira Mpawa, and I will be your host for tonight's talk. It's my great honor and pleasure to welcome you to tonight's Munteda. Uh, I'd like to start by introducing you to Munteda. Um, it's basically an innovative platform where we host international speakers from all around the world and we discuss stimulating topics and we aim to engage the audience and the local community into active discussions. I'd like to introduce you to the format of tonight's t session and talk. So basically, each speaker will deliver their talk, and then at the end, we will hold a Q&A session. So if you have any questions to the speakers, we'd like to ask you to you know, just have them ready, and we will pass the microphones to you if you just point to us. We'll also have a focus group discussion at the end of the talk if you're interested to talk a bit more about your personal experience with dementia with our speakers. They'd love to hear about it. Uh, also, um, in our efforts to continuously develop our programs, we would like to ask you to please fill out the evaluation form. You'll find them on your seats, and you can put them in the boxes right outside the exit of the auditorium. And now on to tonight's topic, caring for and communicating with those with dementia, where we'll be, we will be hosting two speakers, uh, Professor Marianne Talbot and Dr. Boubakar Al-Madani. But before calling our speakers to the stage, I'd just like to give you a short introduction to the work that the foundation has done in health as uh, I am responsible for building the foundation's program in health. So first, I would like to tell you why are we doing this? Why are we having a program in dementia? First, let me tell you what is dementia. Um, it's just basically a condition where there is a decline in mental ability. So memory loss is an example. And Alzheimer's disease is the most common form, as most of you may already know about. So some of the reasons that we focused in this area is that the prevalence of Alzheimer's disease in the UAE is on the rise. But obviously, it's not only in the UAE. It's the case all around the world. And some of the reason for it being on the rise is that in less than 40 years, uh, sorry, yeah, in less than 40 years, we will have more than 30 times elderly people in the UAE society compared to today. And as you know, age is a huge risk factor for having dementia. So the older a person is, the more they are at risk of having dementia. So within these 40 years, a huge proportion of the society will be at risk of this disease. Also, in the UAE, we have a high prevalence of diabetes. So about 19% of the UAE society currently has diabetes, based on statistics from the Imperial College London Diabetes Center. And there has been found that people who have diabetes are also at risk of having dementia. So you can also imagine an equally large proportion of the population also at risk for this disease. So I would like to tell you now what are we doing in the foundation for that. So in our work in the dementia, we have established a strategy uh, which was to raise public awareness, something very similar to today, and then building the capacity of health professionals in the UAE's health system, and then advancing scientific research by supporting researchers, and finally partnering with public health authorities, such as the Health Authority of Abu Dhabi or Suha, the Abu Dhabi Health Services Company, to plan the expansion of healthcare services. So I would like to elaborate more on these strategy areas that I just discussed through the 2013-2014 review of the work we have done in these two years. So, um, so the first area, which is public awareness. So in September 2013, we had a talk very similar to today, and it was about Alzheimer's and diabetes, how to prevent it, how to diagnose it, and we hosted two uh, internationally known speakers from the Karolinska Institute in Sweden. And these speakers also discussed this topic basically um, quite unexplored. It wasn't something that was discussed a lot last year. And 
we noticed that there was a huge interest in this field in dementia. So therefore, the foundation thought of focusing on another target audience that has a very important role in dementia care, and that audience is the health professionals. So what we did is that we partnered with the Health Authority of Abu Dhabi and Saha, and we planned a continuing medical education symposium that was certified by the Health Authority. And it was also about Alzheimer's disease, how to prevent it, diagnose it, treat it, and the audience was neurologists, family doctors, nurses, geriatricians, everyone who was related in that field. And truly, the, the interest was huge. Another area that we're working in is advancing scientific research. So, so the foundation is supporting six postdoctoral researchers from the Karolinska Institute in Sweden. Uh, they have a research center called the Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. And um, these, the, this research found so many things. I'd like to share with you two of them, for example. One was that vitamin E protects you against developing uh, dementia in older age, and also that stress during midlife and also during late life, in addition to feelings of hopelessness, increases the risk for developing dementia. And the list goes on, but these are just a few. And finally, we are partnering with public health authorities to plan the expansion of health services. Um, this is an example of a work which we call system review, where we worked with Saha and we tasked four experts and four researchers to come here to Abu Dhabi and to go to our hospitals and interview key clinical leaders and just assess the level of dementia care that we have in Abu Dhabi. And then based on that, they compare them to you know, internationally successful standards and try to develop frameworks and policies and strategies that are also locally relevant for us to just further develop in that field and add value to the great work that's already being done. So I have come to the end of my presentation. That was just a short um, review of the work that the foundation has done in health, and we really hope that we can build this work with your input and participation and interest. Thank you.